A congenital diaphragmatic hernia happens when the diaphragm doesn't fully develop and stomach contents start to come up into the chest. They put pressure on the lungs and can cause things such as pulmonary hypertension, or they also can restrict the lungs and actually prevent them from growing properly so they don't fully mature. This can be fatal in some cases, and in 50 to 60 percent of cases it's isolated, meaning that it doesn't, it's the only problem that the baby has. But in the other 40 to 50 percent of the time, it can be associated with other disorders. And so I'd recommend talking to your doctor and seeing if this situation, if this applies to your situation, if there's any other issues that they're concerned about. It's usually diagnosed upon ultrasound and once known, your OB provider will generally speaking keep a closer watch on you and the baby during the pregnancy. They may even do routine non-stress tests after about 33 to 34 weeks of pregnancy, checking the fluid levels and the baby's heart rate, which are an indication of how well the baby's doing inside. C-sections are not routinely done on moms with babies who have congenital diaphragmatic hernias, but sometimes doctors will choose to induce the mother because then surgery teams can be on standby if surgery is necessary after delivery. You mentioned that this is the plan, this is kind of what they're thinking of, and you're going to deliver at the University of Utah, and your baby will be transferred to primary children, so you want to know a little bit more about what to expect. If you have a chance to be at the University of Utah before you deliver and you're in labor, they will take you over to primary children's and give you a tour of the newborn ICU, and there you'll be able to talk to the nurses and a doctor, and they will explain more of what to expect after your baby's born. Immediately after birth, you can expect them to intubate your baby and breathe for your baby and also start umbilical lines, meaning through the belly button, they insert lines that allows them to give the baby fluids and other medications. A um, gastric tube is also inserted, which goes down into the stomach and drains the contents. And other tests may be necessary before your baby's taken to surgery to determine the degree of what they're looking at and, you know, kind of help guide their plan of care from that point forward. But basically during the surgery they're repairing the hernia, so they need to go and close the hole that existed that allowed contents to go up into the chest. And once this is repaired, now the battle becomes assessing how the baby's lungs are doing. How do they develop? Is there pulmonary hypertension? And dealing with those issues after surgery. But as far as the specifics go about what to expect, it's all going to be based on how your baby's responding to different treatments. And the doctors will keep you up to date and take great care of you and your baby. Both the University of Utah and Primary Children's are excellent facilities to be at and you will get the best care possible. Good luck with everything and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.